Hey y'all, uh, starting to get my wood pulled down for the, uh, the stack for the house and I'm going to show you how we store it um, so it doesn't fall in on here and it gets scattered around. Just some key tips to uh, show you what we do that helps all through the winter, especially when there's snow and ice and everything. So um, if you'll notice, most of my wood is cut to length for the stove and uh, in the previous videos I'll show you how that I, um, that we measure to cut that but on the stack wherever width of rack you've got I usually cut some some widths yeah. that are that will hold this and stabilize the pile so you can see the difference and they just go across the width of the rack and everything else can be cut to fit to stack in there so that's what I'm doing and if you uh, or when you stack it kind of play Tetris so it locks it in place as much as you can so that that pile is stabilized when uh, when you get all the weight on it wind can blow on it you can fall into it or whatever even when uh, you pick pieces up and they shift, uh, it won't fall in on you. So that's pretty much all we're doing. See that one's kind of cut to length. And what I'll do on the rack part, I try and get above the top uh, and keep it mounded so that uh, when I get the tarp down on it, the cover, um, it's not pulling on the rack itself trying to uh, rip it apart with the wind so that's another key point that we uh, were mindful of this rack here will last me about two weeks um, at sub-zero and we never get any break um, through the winter you'll have weeks or days that are warm so that gives you an opportunity to clean the pipe and and restack the, the pile and stuff like that so um, that's all we're doing. I'll just get this thing loaded up and move on to the next thing. And always a good idea to have gloves because it will bark up your fingers. Pun intended. The other thing is keep it balanced, not going too too sloped at the back or the front. Because that'll aid in the thing falling in on you too. But who really wants to see me load up a wood pile? Now I'm throwing stuff on the other side. Let me finish this up and uh, show you, move on to the next part of it. Alright, I got about another half a cart to uh, load up. Um, one thing I forgot to mention on the longer pieces. Uh, if they're going to be longer than the stove, I can always come in and cut them down later. Um, we just kind of make sure that we've got enough to keep everything on the rack and, and stabilize. So, let me go get that other load and uh, I'll show you the covering. Well, as you can see, we've got a little pile going again. Um, 
ready to start stacking up wood again. I've got some mod ball pieces, so I'm going to have to do some changing here. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Where's my axe head? Right there. No biggie. We'll get it cleaned up and uh, put another handle on it. Anyway, once you get your pile, you try and keep it under some kind of cover. Uh, down at the house, I just pull a tarp over it, put bungees around it so the wind don't blow it off. But uh, anytime you can keep the rain and the snow from piling up and keeping that wood uh, wet, it makes it more difficult. Well, if it's wet, it makes it more difficult to uh, get the fire started or going. So you try and keep it as dry as possible. Uh, we've got stuff underneath the wood to keep it up so there's the air that can circulate through there. But uh, yeah, this has worked out good. Um, we can stick about four cords in this one. Um, I almost have a cord down there, about three quarters of one, that'll fit on my rack at the house. I'm still going to have to build one for the kitchen. But uh, all you do, and I think I've explained it before, you're stacking wood, you try and keep it as level as possible. There, let me get you. Get you over closer so you can see. Alright. And what we've got. Let's try and stick. Uh, I try and stick. Uh, some dead at one area and some of the greener stuff at another that way you can pick and choose when you're pulling your wood to take to the house or the kitchen uh, and kind of have a mix but what you really want to do is try and keep that thing level so it doesn't want to fall this way or fall out the other out the back and uh, and just get her stacked up. I know it's simple 101 stuff for a lot of people, but it makes life easier when you're pulling wood that, you know, eventually your pile falls down like a Jenga tower. So you don't want that happening. Anyway, let me get this uh, put away and, um, We'll show you what we got, but if you just maintain a little here and a little there on these uh, breaks through the winter, you'll be able to keep a stack going all winter. So uh, let's get it done. Well, as you can see, we got all of that picked up and that split. So we're back on uh, pulling stuff in. So. Um, like you can kind of see how I've got it stacked and it's as it goes up it's kind of level and it's all you want you don't want to fall on you when you when you're pulling wood to pull into the house or the kitchen uh, but some kind of a quick lean too I had tin laying around here we did have a few more two befores in stock here so uh, I used them and you saw me cut up the uh, bucking the poles to bring over here for the cedar so uh, yeah it's worked out great and uh, that's all it is from dropping a tree bucking it cutting it up splitting it and putting it in it's a lot of work but it's free heat when you're done so especially with these bills the going way they're going uh, as far as electrical can you imagine paying a six hundred dollar electric bill or some people, some businesses, they, they <laughs> I can't see how they do it. They go from $1,500 electric bills to $3,000, $3,500 a month. Uh, I just can't see it. And it's just getting worse and worse.
There we go. Well, as you can see, we got everything, uh, all, all the piles put, put up and everything split up and put it in there. So now it's time to go out and get some more stuff. Um, so, uh, well, if you like what we do, subscribe to the channel. Um, hit that like button. Share with your friends. But most of all, go live that life done free. Thank you. Thank you.